Holmes was just convicted earlier this year of investor fraud and conspiracy for duping investors and endangering patients while peddling a fake blood testing technology company. A federal judge just handed down her sentence. This all happened in a San Jose courtroom less than an hour ago. Crown Force Charles Clifford live for us there now. Charles, what happened in court today? Yep. Well, right now I'm outside the uh, uh, federal courthouse here in San Jose. Elizabeth Holmes just inside. Uh, you can see this is the media rushing to get a shot of her coming out of the building. Uh, she, as you mentioned, was sentenced to, sentenced to 11 years and three months in federal prison. She won't have to start that sentence immediately. It'll begin. She has to surrender to authorities by April. So she is uh, coming out of the courtroom now. We can take some video of her going into court from earlier today. Uh, she was facing uh, four federal charges, three counts of wire fraud, one count of conspiracy. She could have gotten up to 20 years in federal prison. Prosecutors were asking for 15 years in, in prison. Her defense team wanted no prison time, but the judge late this afternoon, after Holmes made a rather passionate uh, statement to the court, decided that she would get 11 and a half years. Now, there's still the question of uh, restitution to some of Theranos's uh, alleged victims and also a penalty of up to a million dollars. We're not sure where that stands right now, but we do know that Elizabeth Holmes, uh, who has been under you know, scrutiny for a long time now, will eventually, probably early next year, head to federal prison. So that's the very latest here in San Jose. Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Charles, does the fact that she's, she's visibly pregnant play at all into the sentencing that she received today? Uh, so, you know, she was, they spent pretty much all day, the prosecutors and the defense going back and forth, sort of rehashing the case, talking about uh, Elizabeth Holmes, what level of regret she had for the mistakes that she made while the CEO and founder of Theranos, which is now uh, defunct, uh, the prosecution was saying she's never showed any remorse. The defense said that she's very regretful. She stood up in court today, uh, passionately said that mistakes were made. She wished she could go back and change things uh, and that she does feel regret for what happened. So the judge you know, heard all of these arguments throughout the day today and ultimately decided that uh, that Elizabeth would get 11 years in federal prison, which is not the maximum that she could have received, also not what the prosecutors were going for, but 11, you know, significant amount of time. She's also pregnant, so uh, it appears that she'll be allowed to carry her baby to term, uh, give birth to her child, it's her second child, and then in the spring she'll have to surrender and start her prison term. Justine? And they didn't say anything about where she would serve this prison sentence? No, they did not. Uh, you know, the, the sentence has been handed down. She was inside filling out paperwork for a while. Uh, we have not heard at this point. This is all very much developing breaking news right now. We have not heard where she may serve out her sentence. Charles Clifford live outside the San Jose courtroom where Elizabeth Holmes just received her 11 plus year sentence. Charles, thank you so much.